Hello everyone, welcome to a uh, screencast for the NIPS 2017 Learning to Run Challenge. Uh, the screencast will walk you through on how to train your already, uh, how to package your already trained models into Docker containers, which can be graded uh, by the grading server for round two. So let's assume this very uh, basic scenario where we instantiate a run env and then uh, we have a policy function which takes in an observation and spits out an action. In this case, I spit out a random action, but in your case, uh, your actual model code will basically go here. Then we take the first observation by env.reset and then we pass in the actual act predicted action by client. Dot, uh, oops, it's env.step. All right, it's by end dot step. Now we just have a quick look at how do we uh, convert this into uh, how uh, how does the uh, how do we make it uh, something that uh, is supported by the grader. First important thing is uh, to kind of instantiate the client, which uh, talks with the grader. The client has a very uh, similar uh, interface as um, uh, the uh, run env uh, instance. So we just need to instantiate it first then instead of taking end.reset now we replace it by client dot uh, oops, observation equals to client dot env create actually so first we need to create an environment uh, which uh, will also respond with the first observation then inside in uh, inside here instead of end env dot step we need to do a client dot env step now some other key changes are this particular script assumes that uh, the whole thing runs for just 200 steps while the grader expects to run uh, as many simulations as it uh, wants. So to do that we provide uh, this block here in the submission script and I will walk you through this block. So what exactly happens here is uh, we go into an infinite loop and then we get the first action action in this case will be policy of observation then instead of uh, end dot step as i said we do a client dot uh, end uh, step now the trick uh, now we can optionally print the observation then the done variable will be false when one simulation ends but the grader um, can be requested uh, it should be always be requested for another uh, simulation by client dot uh, end re reset and if client dot end reset returns a new observation then uh, that means that the grader wants to run another uh, simulation if uh, the grader returns a false instead of an observation then you're supposed to break out of the infinite loop and simply do a client dot submit this is exactly uh, what you need to do to be able to have your code supported by uh, the current docker based uh, mechanism now how do we move all of this code inside docker uh, and into the template that is provided so we provide one template here, uh, which can be used by you. So first I would suggest uh, you pull uh, the latest version of the template. And now I had already pulled it, so it's already available. But after you, uh, after Docker pull uh, spmodi slash crowd nips learning to run challenge executes, then uh, you can check if it is already available or not by doing Docker images, you should uh, see this. Now we need to be able to first go inside the Docker container which we can do by docker run minus it the image id and then we need to exec execute slash bin slash bash which will give us a terminal inside the container now we are inside that container if you go in, into the home directory inside the container you will see there are two scripts which are already provided uh, one is submit.sh which is the principal script which will be uh, called by the grader when we want to uh, run uh, the, when we want to uh, grade your particular submission and as you can see some of the basic things that need definitely need to be done in submit.sh is to instantiate uh, the redis server by etc init.d redis server start then also activate OpenSimRL or any other kunda environment that you end up setting up uh, in your um, container and then finally calling the actual script uh, in the currently uh, setup environment so now the thing is we already have our uh, scripts that we just edited in this one folder it can have in your models and everything else but everything is in this one folder now we need to be able to move this from uh, my laptop my the host to inside the container to do that first we need to figure out what is the um, uh, id of the container which we can get by docker ps minus a so in this case docker uh, the container uh, that uh, is currently running is uh, the id is uh, this highlighted number and what we can do is uh, we can do a docker cp 
learning to run is a path to the directory that we want to uh, move and then the container id and the path inside the container we s we want to move this inside the slash home uh, directory and we move it here and now if we do ls again we see the learning to run uh, directory with all my code from my laptop is inside the container now uh, what we want to do is uh, first we uh, of course uh, remove round to submit that is a template which we used as a reference and finally converted our code into run.py run.py is now available inside learning to run so the path will be slash home slash learn to run slash oops uh, run dot pi all right and now we reference this script instead inside uh, inside our submit.sh script so the submit.sh script now will uh, basically do the same thing start redis server uh, instantiate the open CMRL environment and then call the final prediction script so now just to see that everything is in order what we can do is we can do a docker uh, again we figure out the container id first then we can execute a command inside a docker a container by doing a docker execute pass the id then slash home slash submit dot sh so this is exactly the command that will be used by uh, the grader to start the actual prediction uh, code inside the container and if we run this we see or right, the redis server is starting and then we see the default messages from ocmrl instantiating so which means uh, that uh, all right the prediction script is uh, something which is uh, running now that is something which is done now how do we f f also test that uh, the ser the um, the code is actually able to communicate with the service uh, that uh, will be used by the grader so for that we create another tab now uh, we provide a small wrapper uh, script inside the ocmrl repository so we clone that first So then inside OSIMRL repository, we see in OSIM uh, redis service.py is where we have uh, the template script service.py. The parameters it needs us to pass are um, uh, just the port. So, uh, okay now what we do is uh, we execute the same thing but with minus p uh, oops it's just uh, all right it's actually a my mistake we don't need to do this all right let's do it this way first we need to ensure that the the changes in the container are not lost so we need to commit all the changes that are um, uh, that we made and uh, wrapped up into the container so that we can simply do by docker commit the container id and then we give a name for our submission let's call it my submission and colon version uh, 1 version 1.0 so this will be the uh, new image that will be created from the current state of the container which we can check now by docker images and we should see a new image which is available uh, for uh, the new um, uh, the current state of the uh, container now we can simply exit it now we simply run the actual uh, service by docker run minus p oops docker run minus p minus it in this case will be my submission colon version 1.0 version 1.0 and then inside it we want to run slash home slash submit dot sh so this basically uh, starts the actual prediction uh, service inside the container or that is service and everything else now the your script inside the container is basically waiting for a grading service to listen to it on uh, this port of um, uh, well it is listening uh, on port 6379 through redis but then that is mapped to 10009 port on the host so basically you will need to start a service 
redis then service dot pi minus port equals to this should this port number should match uh, the port that is uh, provided in uh, docker run and the grader will ensure that so this is a number you can use to just test uh, things locally ah okay all right so th many of the things are not installed so we basically go to osmrl and install the updated version here by simply doing a uh, yep this should install the latest version of osmrl okay now just check osim that is should be perfect so now we have all the dependencies now we run this service uh, python osim uh, slash ready slash service dot pi and port 10009 when we ah all right so i should be in the conda environment source activate OpenSimRL. then i install osmrl again the updated version now we should be able to run the service which talks to the grader and finally at the end of it should be able to sub, uh, spit out the final reward So all right, if you see something like this at the end of uh, end of the whole thing, uh, cumulative reward and a particular uh, number, that means that uh, this uh, can now be perfectly interfaced with um, the actual grading service which should be used uh, uh, by our grader. And now the thing is, uh, now that we are sure that we have uh, one image which works uh, with uh, uh, the interface of the grader, now we need to be able to save uh, that particular um, uh, image into a tarball which can be uh, uploaded, which we can again do by docker images, docker save my submission colon v.1 in this case, but you can have multiple commits and you can uh, name and tag them as you please and then final minus uh, output my submission dot tar so now it is trying to take your container and finally uh, save it into a one tarball so these are huge files and we know about that and uh, but this is again a requirement to be able to ensure that the grading process is completely fair and uh, uh, by design no one uh, can uh, reverse engineer the seeds but while this happens i'll just give you a quick overview of uh, the service.py in service.py as you see uh, again one is the seed map uh, where the seed map uh, uh, right now is just 112233 that means um, the grading service uh, needs to run three simulations with uh, three different seeds being 1122 and 33 but in our case we can have an arbitrary uh, number of uh, uh, seeds and max steps uh, would again be um, uh, 1000 steps as uh, defined by challenge rules all right it's still saving the whole thing okay progress now we have the tart container as my submission that tart okay let's just organize things yeah we come to this folder so it's a bit easier now this is just a tar file and it should be huge 4.7 gigabytes let's just uh, gzip it so we save a little bit more of the space
all right so this is done now we have our whole container packed in a neat 1.59 gigabytes now the question is how do we basically upload it to crowd ai so we provide a script for that too we provide a script called as upload to crowd ai in ocmrl when you need to pass in your api key and your docker container but this expects you have the python uh, crowd ai python client installed so you will have to install that by pip install crowd ai so this installs the python client and then from inside the osmrl repository you can do python osim slash um, oops python scripts slash upload to crowd ai minus api key equals to uh, i will provide my api key I'll be changing this API key so don't even try using it mm, then you have to pass the path to docker container which is dot dot slash my submission so this should ideally upload your model to crowd AI Alright, and this basically means that your, uh, well if you see this beer mug here, that means your um, uh, submission has been uh, uploaded and uh, this is your submission ID 3351 uh, in uh, my case and you will be able to check that by going to the learning to run page and in submissions, so this is an entry which was just created and uh, uh, we will be updating uh, this particular uh, submissions uh, page and you can uh, keep an eye on your submission id uh, to see if it failed or if it uh, succeeded uh, but this course will be updated uh, at the end of uh, the challenge all right thank you so much and best of luck with uh, your final submissions uh, another update that um, will be allow allowing uh, five uh, submissions instead of three and the challenge uh, deadline uh, will also be extended uh, until uh, Monday. So more details uh, will be posted on the forum and best of luck again. Bye.